Hi everyone, welcome to the Gutenberg tutorial series. In this video, I am going to design and customize the testimonial sections of the website using Gutenberg. Let's get started. First of all, let's create a one page, name it as a testimonial, and go to setting in the document and in the template section, keep it as a Gutenberg full width, and go to template library. And in this block section, come down and find the testimonial blocks here. Now, here are two blocks as of now. You can use any one of these. If you want to see the preview, you can click in the preview. These are the default free version of the testimonial section. Go back to the page. And I want to use the second one. So I am inserting this. Once you insert the page, publish and view the page. This is our default testimonial section. We are going to make some changes in this default design. Go back to the edit page. And the first thing is I want to change the picture. So I'm uploading the picture from here. I want to keep this one. And also for the second, I do the same. Well, now if you want to add more items or box, you can add from here, like so. Go to the setting as always you have got two options here block title and block items in block titles you can set the title here testimonials and you can style according to your brand or company i want to remove that small underline and in the block items this is where you make changes here you have got a couple of options template here like this one right left and center for now i keep it the center and in the column section you can set the number of column that you want to show since i have four blocks here i want to show four but it all depends on you here as always here are four options like title designation description and button as of now i don't want to put so i leave it as it is go to the style section to have some style and in the image box you have got color overlay option which i don't want to put now so i just turn it off this is how you can enable the full width of your image and in the item title which is here you can change the color tag typography margin padding from here for now let me change the color to something like blue and in the typography i can set the font here and you can play around this way transfer style and decorations of your text likewise in the designation you can do the same you can set the color for now i keep it black in the typography you can also set the different font here like pretty much same in the item description you can set the color tag typography margin padding for your design i want to change a little bit of the color of the description coming back to the advanced setting we have a bunch of options here the very first thing is background this option let you change the entire background like color video image and none if you want to set the image you can set from here like so right but for now, I just want to keep it as plain, so I keep it none. Coming down to the border, you can set the border here like solid, dotted, dash, double, and whatever you like. Since I don't need any border, I keep it none. And the box shadow as well, you can play around these settings for your box shadow. In the block shape, you have a beautiful option here. You can choose different patterns, which you can see on top later. And also you can enable or disable the color to match your brand now here is the animation you can set the animation as well but i don't want any animation as of now so i keep it none once you are satisfied with your setting update the page and view the page well this is our cool looking testimonial sections of our website that is all in this video for more tutorials like this, subscribe to our channel. Thanks.